All right, welcome back to Cosiza Snow Podcast. My name is C. Good morning. How are you guys doing? It's an early morning show. Very, very cold in my country. Very cold. Absolutely cold. Um, I'm putting on stockings, a jacket, a jean, but I'm still feeling um, the coldness in my bone marrow. So that is how cold it is. So what is the environment, you know, down there in your countries? Of course, people in in UK, I don't think it is winter in UK now. Um, I think we are, we are moving closer to the summer, though, um, since we have just come from January, it could be, you know, th there could be some, uh, you know, parts that are still um, in winter. But anyway, how are you guys doing and uh, uh, what is the weather update in your countries? I'm here to speak to you about the daily transfer update. Arsenal linked with Aaron Ramsey, Mateo Genduzi, an update about him. And of course, a couple of other stories. We have been talking to Mena Solomon, um, and we need to talk about that. But first and foremost, smash the like button, get your subscriptions in, and tell me what you think about Mena Solomon as well as Mateo Genduzi. It's a big question, actually. Um, uh, Fabrizio Romano talking about um, Mateo Genduzi. Should he come back at Arsenal, or is it over for him? Uh, should we cash in on him? Is he the kind of player that uh, that, that uh, Mikel Arteta is going to use? Is he part of the flood um, of players that actually he's going to use um, in his career at Arsenal? So, you know, it's a big question. Many people have different thoughts about Mateo Genduzi. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts as well. Um, is Genduzi that kind of player that Arsenal need? Is he that kind of player that Mikel Arteta can actually operate with? Or, because, I, I mean, I, I, he as a player he has already said that his best manager or the best manager he has worked under uh, is Unai Emery so that is clear that you know, they're not at the best terms with Mikel Arteta he is very talented um, and we are going to be discussing that and more after you guys do uh, subscribe and of course smash the like button I start off with Aaron Ramsey who's been linked again with Arsenal I think um, I did this story three or, or four days back when I did say that Aaron Ramsey and Eden Hazard were linked to Arsenal and did I say, I think, I'm, you know, just to be spot on, I did say that I like Aaron Ramsey. I've, I rate him a lot. I think he's a very hardworking guy, very hardworking player. But right now, he is not the kind of Arsenal, um, the, the kind of player that Arsenal need. He is very talented, very, very talented. And I, and, and, and I really love him. If, if there is a Wales player who I really rate a lot, um, I, I think I've always rated Ramsey ahead of Gareth Bell. Not because, you know, he has achieved more than Bell, but I think for me, he has offered more to the football scene, more to the football scene, um, especially at us, you know, that any, uh, than any other player that actually rose from dust. If, if you look at Dwyaku Jakusha, it will be Theo Walcott, it is Aaron Ramsey, the, you know, a player that I can actually talk about uh, who has actually offered more at us. You know, and I really like him and I would, I would like to see him back, but one of the problems we have at Arsenal is poor recruitment. You know, you, 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 you bring in players like William, you bring in players like um, Aaron Ramsey, and they're going to become dead wood. So if you bring in Ramsey after clearing out Sid Kolasinak, Ozil, and Socrates in January, then what you're actually doing is undoing the business you did in, um, um, in the January transfer window. And that is why, actually, I do not agree uh, with Aaron Ramsey coming back with, um, you know, uh, to join Arsenal. But Mikel Arteta loves him. They play together. He knows what, you know, he, knows what he can offer. And with Thomas Partey being, you know, on and off, I think Aaron Ramsey would be the perfect guy for that role because right now he's 30. He's not going to be asking for a lot of uh, game time, you know, game in, game out. I don't think he's going to be asking for that. If he was going to ask for that, then he would be asking for it uh, from Juventus. If he's not asking for game time at Juventus, then he cannot come to Arsenal and ask for game time. So I think he would come in for purposes of, of, of squad depth as a, as a squad player. Uh, Thomas Partey get, you know, gets injured, Grand Jack is unfit. Um, or, or, or probably if we get a partner for Thomas Partey, um, and then we want to do some squad rotation, Europa League, FA Cup, then you have, you know, you need to have a player like, like, like Aaron Rams. And, and, and that's why I didn't agree in the first place uh, when we decided to let Lucas Torreira go uh, to Atletico Madrid. Because at, at times you need these squad players, you need those kind of players. The Matila Nows, the, the Lucas Torreira, they're always going to sit on the bench. But when you bring them onto the pitch, they're going to be as good as new. It's going to be like they've been playing football, you know, game in, game out. And, and that's the difference they have. And that's the difference with Aaron Ramsey. He's a player who can make an impact off the bench. And he can, he, he, he can also make an impact um, when he starts for the team. And I think that is one of the things, actually, um, Arsenal fans will actually rem you know, remember about him. But he's been linked again with Arsenal. Um, I don't know how possible this deal is. I don't know whether Arsenal can actually go for this deal. Uh, Mikel Arteta 
likes the player but is it a good signing would i if, if i was you know edu um if i was in the you know boots of edu would i actually recommend uh that we go for aaron ramsey my answer is no right now i think what we need is go is to go for younger players players with you know a greater you know with a greater future you have players like mateo genduzi right now they need playing time you have players like miguel aziz developing through the hierarchy um they need playing time there's no way you're gonna bring back a player like Aaron ramsey the experience is needed a lot of things he can you know he can add to the squad but it would be a little bit unfair and that's why i think that's when we would see uh players like mateo genduzi you know deciding to leave because then they're not going to get uh, playing time courtesy of all players like Aaron ramsey still talking about mateo genduzi actually fabrizio romano did confirm that Arsenal will be getting a chance to get back Mateo Genduzi this time um, at the end of the season. Uh, uh, he did refuse going to Hatha Berlin, uh, signing on a permanent for uh, to Hatha Berlin, or going back on a permanent deal. So that means we have two options. One, we either uh, you know cash in on him in the summer, or uh, we use him next season. And, and of course, this is where the big debate lies: is he um, is he uh, the Mikel Arteta kind of player. For me, the, the truth is he is done. Um, and, and, and of course, many people, because of his talent, are going to tell you um, Mateo Genduzi can fit well at Arsenal. But the truth is he cannot. Genduzi is a very talented player, but for me, his attributes and his quality do not match the press Mikel Arteta wants to introduce at Arsenal. He is another Granit Xhaka. He is another Danny Ceballos. He, want, you know, he wants to, to hold that ball pass it sideways, hold that ball, you know, move with it at a very slow pace. And for Mikel Arteta, that's not what he wants. He wants to have a Kevin De Bruyne, he wants to have a, um, a David Silva of his own. And, 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 and Mateo Genduzi cannot be a David Silva, for Christ's sake. He cannot be Kevin De Bruyne. And that's why you see, he would rather play Genduzi. He would rather not play Genduzi and play Emily Smith-Rowe. I think the difference is very, is very visible. Emily Smith-Rowe stretches play very fast, thinks fast. Genduzi, very good on passing. The, he, you know, he has a very good passing accuracy. But when you, you know, ask him to get into the dangerous areas, that's the, pro, you know, that's where the problem, you know, the problem comes. And Martin Odegaard, Emily Smith Rowe, Thomas Partey, that is the kind of player Martin Odegaard, uh, sorry, um, Pep Guardiola would use. That's the, those are the kind of players that um, you know, Bielsa would use. That's the, you know, th that's the kind of talent uh, that Mikel Arteta wants to use. So Mateo Genduzi is going to find it very, very tough at Arsenal. We might not sell him in the summer. I don't see you know, high chances of Arsenal selling him in the summer. But, but I don't see Arsenal using him as a regular starter next season psg uh, i think we had offered him to psg and barcelona last summer but of course he, he was there were no attractive attributes uh, you know uh, on his game as a player so we couldn't sell him this time yeah uh, this time um he's been at he's been playing with hatha berlin he's having a tremendous season very good season i think better than grand jacker season so if you want to cash in on him if you want to sell him then maybe you can consider possibilities but uh, look like I think, like, like I said, I don't think we're going to sell him, but I don't think he's going to get playing time regularly at Arsenal. Because for me, he is not a Mikel Arteta kind of player. He's not that kind of player that wants to hunt, you know, hunt the ball and then pass it on at a very quick pace like you see Thomas Partey. And that's why we've been linked with so many midfielders ever since Partey arrived. Because journalists and media experts are trying to look for that kind of partner that can actually play with Thomas Partey in the midfield um, for Mikel Arteta. We've been linked with Yavis Bisuma, we've been linked with, um, uh, with Sabatza, you know, and, and if you look at the players that we've been linked with, both of them have, you know, quick fits, actually all of them in that midfield. Um, if, 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 if Arsenal has been linked with a player that doesn't have quick fit in the midfield, then it is a big mistake. Most of them actually have quick fit. Quick decision making, quick brains, and quick feet. That is what Mikel Arteta wants. Get that ball, move it on, you know, very fast. Within two, three, four, five seconds, you are already on the 18 years box of the enemy. And maybe that is when, you know, that's where we have problems. We have always had problems there uh, for the past two seasons, including this one. Maybe we can deal that, you know, with that um, in the summer. So, Genduzi to stay, but for me, my opinion is he's not this kind of player that's going to be at Arsenal and get playing time, but we might not actually cash in on him uh, in the summer, according to uh, Fabrizio Romano. And of course, like I said, Aaron Ramsey is still linked with Arsenal. Uh, what are your thoughts on Aaron Ramsey? I like him, but I do not agree with the decision to actually bring him back to Arsenal. Finally, I'll be talking about 
Mena Solomon. Now, Solomon has been linked with the Arsenal almost for eternity. I, I mean, as long as, you know, we've been linked with um, uh, Emi Buendia. I've, seen, uh, I've been seeing the, the name uh, Mena Solomon. And I think the fact is, Arsenal might not be much interested in Mena Solomon. Edu might be because of, um, you, know, uh, you know, the connection. But I think because Pepe wasn't performing... And William wasn't performing. Saka um, was the only winger performing at Arsenal. And Gabriel Martinelli was injured. There was need for Arsenal to get a winger. And, and, and that's why you know, we, we were linked with Maynard Solomon. And reports now claim that we had agreed a deal with him to sign him in the summer. That is not verified anywhere. I wouldn't actually take it. But I, I don't think we need a winger. I, I, I don't see William... You know, William uh, moving on in this summer. I don't see Pepe moving on in this summer. Bukayo Saki is there and Gabriel Martinelli is there as well. Uh, we have a lot of competition in those areas. I don't see Arsenal actually going out there um, and sign uh, a winger. Unless we are crazy because Arsenal has always done crazy signings and crazy deals um, in the summer. I still remember... Um, you know, when we signed the Olivia Giroux and, 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 and the UC Benayunes, I still remember, you know, those transfers I saw. It really happens when Arsenal do ridiculous business, that, you know, doesn't it? But I think Mena Solomon would be a bad one. It would be a very, very bad deal. I don't think Arsenal should be going for Mena Solomon. I, I don't see any attractive attributes um, in the player. Or like, is he better than what we have? No. Um, is he that kind of, you know supersonic good player better than what Arsenal can actually dream of? No. Um, I don't see. I, I think there were rumors based on the fact that Pepe was not performing, William was not performing, Saka was lonely on one, on, on one side of the midfield, of, of the wing um, and we needed another compliment. We needed someone to compliment the other wing. And now that Pepe is performing, Gabriel Martinelli is back, I don't think Arsenal will actually be linked with more wingers um, in the summer. And, and, and I've always made this clear and I'll say it again, if there are positions that Arsenal has to fill this summer, um, there are two or three. One, we need a right back, we need a, a back of left back and we also need a midfielder. Of, of course, we need a striker, I've already said that. So there are four uh, positions that we need to fill. The other positions might not be um, of a big priority. If we can get in a player who can play with Thomas Partey, retain Martin Odegaard, get a striker, and get a backup, um, get a, a, get a backup right winger, probably that could be um, Ren Bertrand, and then sign a competent right back. Because it's a shame that we have, play, we, we, we have Cedric backing Hector Bellerin as our right backs. Both of them are not good enough. Actually, they are, they are not good. Not even good enough. So I think we need a right back. We have been uh, linked with Ashraf Hakimi um, in the past, what, two weeks? It's a deal that I don't see, we can, that, that I don't see us not doing. 40 million quid uh, for Ashraf Hakimi. We could have done that in the summer uh, when he was at Borussia Dortmund. Real Madrid desperately needed money, but of course, we decided uh, to let the deal go. I don't see it happen um, anytime soon. I think if you're going to go for um, a, a right back, we might go for players like Tariq Lamptey, or because we've been linked with, uh, with Lamptey before, you still remember, I did those stories in January. Um, we've been linked with um, Max Arons as well, but Arons has a lot of competition. Bayern Munich is interested, Barcelona um, were interested at some point in time. I think PSG will be coming in the summer because now they, they can spend some money. Um, I think now they have some money, so it's going to be a lot of competition on um, Max Arons. But I think for me, Tariq Lamptey is the guy. He's the real deal. You can't get Tariq Lamptey at 25 million pounds or 30 million pounds. 10 million pounds less than you know you, you're going to pay for Ashraf Hakimi. That would be very good. Um, that that would be very very uh, good business. So that is it basically um, in regards to the transfer uh, updates. We want to sign Abram Ramsey back to Arsenal. What are your thoughts on that? Um, mine are don't bring him back, but he remains in the memory uh, of Arsenal fans. I still, I, of course, there are things I still remember about uh, Ramsey. He scored that, you know final goal when we were beating Chelsea uh, to win our last FA Cup trophy um, not our last but our second last uh, FA Cup trophy uh, under Asin Wenger so I, I still I, I still have a lot of respect for him as a player and I know he was low he just wanted a little bit um, uh, you know salary increment uh, Arsenal of course we know Everybody who asks for a salary increment at Arsenal, apart from Mesut Ozil uh, and Aubameyang, has been sold or has been left to go on a free transfer. So that is what actually happened to Aaron Ramsey. Um, nothing different. But is it right to bring him back? I don't know what you guys think. We've been, you know, we brought back players like um, Machu Flamini, and, and I think 
he never had a tremendous season when he came back, you know, just to be fair. But of course, because he's a, hell a legend, we're going to say it was good to see him back. And for Ramsey, I'm going to say it was good to see him back. You know, it, it would be good to see him back as well. But no, 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 no. It, it's not a deal I want to see. I want to see new faces. I want to see new talent. I want to see new people in a new season. This season, we are going to finish ninth or tenth, highest eighth. Um, just like last season. We, you don't need to bring in Deadwood again. You don't need to bring in guns without gunpowder um, so that, you know, you can actually refine them so that they fire. You need guns that can actually fire right away. We need a bright season, to the, you know, a, a bright start to next season. And for me, that comes with the right signings. That comes with the right window. Kalateta said um, the first window he had, it was ridiculous. He says the, the, the last window was perfect. We are waiting for the summer because then you'll have Euros. Probably you can grab Jack Grealish when he has a good, you know, game in, in, in the Euros. What? You can get, you know, go, go players for like Telemans. I've, I've always liked Telemans. I've, I, I thought Arsenal would actually consider going for Ricardo Taylor, for, for Yuri Telemans actually, when he was Monaco. But we failed. Now he is at Leicester City. We are linked with him. But trust me, if, if there is a player I think can play with Thomas Partey in that midfield could be Yuri Telemans. Forget Yavis Bissouma. I think Telemans is a bowler 10 times more than Bissouma. Of course, that would be a big debate that we can conf um, you know, continue in the comment section. Smash the like on this video and I'll speak to you in the next one. Have a blessed stay of the channel.